Hello and welcome to On the Sunny Side. I'm Sunny Grinneveld. I'm an entrepreneur and Forbes under 30 list maker. And here on F15, I speak every week with people who are shaping the digital economy and who are using tech for good. Now, this week's guest is Yoko Spirig. She is the co-founder and CEO of Leggy, a tech startup based uh, here out of Switzerland. And I'm so excited to have Yoko on the show. Yoko, welcome to On the Sunny Side. Thanks for having me. Great to be here. So for those who tune in regularly, uh, they know I always start these interviews with something I call Sunny's Fast Five, five quick questions to get to know you and introduce you uh, to my audience um, very quickly, briefly, but hopefully also originally. And I'm just going to still briefly say if uh, anyone who's watching now would like to uh, keep in touch and hear these uh, conversations on a weekly basis, please do hit the subscribe button. And with that, um, let's get started. Yoko, are you a morning or a night person? I used to be a night person, but um, but as of now, I'm, I, I turned into a morning person. A convert. All right. So if I would give you um, a time machine, you could go anywhere, any place, uh, any time. Where would you go? I would go into the future um, for sure, because um, and, and probably, you know, around more than, than 100, 200 years from now, uh, just because I'm, I'm, I'm so amazed at what we've uh, evolved into as a human spe species over the last hundred years. And I'm super curious to see what we'll, we'll evolve into. And if uh, we travel back to the present, what's a question right now currently top of mind for you? Um, right now, really, it's it's um, it's really around hiring. To be honest, um, uh, this year with Leggy, we're, we're planning on on doubling our team, um, and it's it's really about like how to you know find the, the best people uh, and the, and the best fit with with Leggy. What is success to you? So I think success. Um, the definition of it had uh, different, uh, the, the definition was different over time for me and it will probably change. But as of now, um, for me, it's really, you know, about um, fulfilling our mission with Leggy. Um, and, and that is really uh, democratizing ownership. Um, and through that, helping entrepreneurs um, build great companies. Let's talk a little bit more about Leggy. For those who haven't heard of the company yet, what do you do? Sure. So um, Leggy is the platform for startup owners. And that means our, our customers are um, startups. So, you know, starting at early stage um, up until pre-IPO companies. And really um, what, what they can do on Leggy is that um, they can manage their ownership, meaning um, everything starting from, from cap table to employee participation plans uh, up until um, investor relations. The co-founders of the popular um, application Doodle.com have been early backers for Leggy, and um, you know I think it's 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 been quite interesting to see how fast you've grown and, and how much progress you've made just in the past few years. How what what role have they had, and and you know how have you benefited from that that early uh, partnership from their side and 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 and, and support? you know, we were sort of um, freshly graduate uh, students back then. Uh, and so definitely um, a, a lot, they helped us a lot with their experience, um, uh, be it, you know, around uh, the basics of, of, of building a company at the beginning, um, also with, with their network. Um, our, our first users were really came from their network. Um, and, and just also as of today, um, I think we, we, we have really um, shared values with them. Um, and, and therefore, it's always, uh, you know, when, when we're faced with difficult situation or decisions, it's, it's always great to have them as pairing partners. What are some of your leadership principles? First thing would be um, transparency. And I think um, at the beginning, we, we you know, it, it kind of uh, developed organically because when you're a small team, uh, you, you sort of talk and share about everything. But uh, as we grow, um, I think it's, it's really something we're also now doing extremely intentionally. So, you know, to give an example, we're, uh, we're sharing all our investor reports with, with uh, all the, the, the employees in the company. 
we share um, our board decks. Uh, everyone knows how exactly how the company is doing, so how much revenue we're making and so on. And the reason I think we're, we're going to keep uh, this transparency as much as possible is that um, I think better informed people make better decisions. Um, and so I think that's something, you know, that um, uh, as, a, as a leader, it's, it's great to do um, intentionally. You're building a digital company from day one. Um, as you think about leadership in a digital context, you know, what does, what does that mean? What, what makes you a good digital leader? What are some of sort of the key attributes that you believe um, are important to succeed in an increasingly digital context? Two things that come to mind. I think the first one is um, around um, sort of genuine curiosity for new technology um, and, 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 and sort of really be open-minded and, and really uh, think about, okay, how, how this new technology or this new software or, or, or whatever that is can, um, you know, can, 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 can change the world in the coming years. Um, and, and then the second thing is, uh, because maybe for a first thing, I think um, perhaps many people who, who are not necessarily digital natives tend to um, dismiss new, new technology too fast. Um, and, and there, I think it's super important to just have a, a, a genuine curiosity and, and open-mindedness. Um, and the second thing that came to mind is really um, around, I would say, uh, minimalism and sort of reducing. Um, and, and by that, I mean, uh, I think it's, it's you know, easy in this digital world to, to sort of constantly being, um, yeah, well, being in the digital world. And, and I think it's super important to uh, be, be very in, intentional about, you know, when, when you're, um, you're, you're, you're in the digital world, you're, you're kind of, you know, interacting digitally and when you shut, shut off and, and also go back to, to, um, to a non-digital world. Hmm. Looking forward, when it comes to the vision of Legi, you talked at the beginning a little bit about democratizing ownership. Um, what, what do you mean specifically? How does that um, really also help the world? And, and you know, what is your vision for, for Legi uh, going forward? Absolutely. So democratizing ownership um, by this, um, I mean that um, so democratizing the word democratizing means making more accessible. So it's not necessarily about democracy or so it's really making more accessible. And um, by this, we, we really want to achieve two main things. And the first one is really um, by, you know, providing a, a platform for um, entrepreneurs and, and, and startup leaders. We allow them to um, ultimately also create more transparency and engagement across everyone who owns the company. So uh, it's really key to, um, uh, you know, make everyone in the company an, an owner of the company in order to um, just build the, 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 the greatest team and thus build the greatest company. So that's one thing, um, uh, really helping leaders involving all their owners. And then the, the second part is really... Um, around the fact that um, if, if, if you think about um, uh, stock options and, and, and owning a stake in a company, um, Europe in general is, is um, a, a little bit late to the party, so to say, um, and, and not a lot of um, uh, you know, companies so far have been doing that very systematically. And it's super important for uh, an entrepreneurial ecosystem that this is done uh, much more systematically. Um, and, and, and so the second uh, pillar that we want to achieve with that is um, that, that employees of startups um, have a stake in the company and thus, um, first of all, learn more about what that means to have equity. Um, and second of all, when you know, there are events like exits or so that they also get the upside and in turn also reinvest in, in, in entrepreneurship. As a startup uh, CEO, what is a book that you would recommend to you know my viewers uh, who would want to also become um, a startup CEO? One book I would really recommend reading is um, "Measure What Matters" by John Doerr. 
um, because to me it's it's really just like um, uh, maybe it's it's a bit of a of a scientific way. Uh, maybe my, my my scientific background comes comes a bit to play here, but it's really just a way to um, to to be extremely conscious about what you're you're doing, and it helps I think the whole company to. Um, to 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 be extremely intentional about about what you do every day and and sorry for for those who don't know uh, measure what matters is actually about um, a framework uh, called OKRs that uh, was developed um, at Intel and Google in the early days um, so yeah it's I think it's just a great framework that um, I would recommend to everyone starting a company. Final question, if uh, you sort of go back in time and think uh, back to the days when you were a student and, and you know, there's, I think, sort of one decision that, that we all make uh, in our student days is whether to go for a startup career first or whether to go for a corporate career first. And, uh, you know, you can switch over along the way, but I think that first experience does make a difference and it does shape us in many ways. What is some advice that you would give your younger self uh, who's standing at that cross crossroads? Yeah, great question. Um, I think at the end of the day, it's um, both, you know, the corporate world and the startup world have their, their advantages. And it's, um, I, I think it's, at the end of the day, it's also more about the specific opportunity, you know, so, um, yeah, what, what are the, the, the two opportunities in, in, in each field? Is it uh, a year joining as an engineer at Google or is it, um, you know, it really depends on the specific opportunity. But one thing I would say is that I think it's uh, when you're a freshly uh, graduated student, um, it's, it's a great time to, to you know, um, take, take risks. You don't have a family. Um, you don't need a lot of um, money to, you know, um, uh, sustain your, your life. Um, and therefore, it's a great timing to, to join a startup in that sense. Well, thank you, Yoko, for all these insights. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much for, for joining On the Sunny Side. Thanks a lot. It was a great conversation. So here on the sunny side, um, we have these conversations every week. Uh, they come out on Friday, always at 9 a.m. And um, I hope you uh, tune in to F15, uh, to also uh, other episodes. We have uh, several different uh, shows that you can find. And I look forward to seeing you again on Friday on the sunny side.